Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder why. I figure it's it's kind of not an undoable matchup for Villager, but definitely a very nuanced matchup because there's just a lot that you have to worry about defensively. Meanwhile, here, if you're chilling as Enderman, like, you get the opportunity to build up a literal wall so you have your time to get your resources together. There's a lot of ways things can go wrong for both characters, but the start to Stadium, I think, is a, a strong one because if Pokalam does find himself in that specific situation, oh, yeah, right he'll there. build the wall, get himself on the ledges because those little, like, metal portions right at the ledge actually do yield different materials oh. from mining on, like, the rest of the... The base. I thought you. I thought you were gonna talk about how like if he builds the wall there, like right, right, like right next to the platform, it becomes really hard for like Duck Hunt to get in. That's but another thing. That metal, that metal on the side of the edge is actually like huge. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, really good on Zane not pressing forward. Unfortunately, they're gonna get bursted on. Pokemon has like so many resources right now. He, he just made the diamond, I think, and the. Yeah, but I don't know if he's going to have the opportunity to actually use it. Zane's on the hunt. But yeah, you got to be careful. A lot of the diamond tools are, relatively speaking, very safe on block. So Pokemon can afford to press a few buttons. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Ooh, from below. All right. Oh, very good scout from Zane's end. And these blocks are just paying, like, paying so much dividends. He, got, he already got another diamond off of that. He's chilling for the next stop. <laughs> and he's forced right and, onto uh, it. Yeah. You know, playing like really passively as Steve on this stage in particular just works in so many ways because you build that little wall for yourself and most characters just don't have ways to break through it. Or if they do, it becomes incredibly obvious. So it forces a slower paced character like Duck Hunt to become pretty like readable. Like look at that, yeah. because it's three tall, can doesn't get past there. It has to go over the plot. And look at him, we got another yeah. wall. And look look how much like stone he has. <laughs> He's already starting to creep up into the iron right now. So like, it, it's not even that like, I, Duck Hunt can't break it. It's like, I don't think most characters can break stone in one hit. Yeah, no, you need like pretty strong tools. And so it's more of an effort to get around it as opposed to through it. And like, <laughs> You're just playing so many layers of a very weird game at that point, especially now you're playing from behind. Oh, really yeah. good chase with up smash is going to end up getting Coco on the lead. All right. Just a simple fair after the uh, shot put. Yeah, throwing the, the clay shooter out there is going to be the pretty typical like hit confirm into uh, back air or forward air if Zane doesn't have enough space to properly run air. Pokemon. I don't know why, but like suddenly Pokemon has like little to no resources right now. But um, so he's gonna take that stock into Grand Pokemon's a little bit of iron, but like he virtually has nothing right now. So uh, this is Zane's time to shine right now. Yeah, this is what's rough about playing the match about like entirely defensively is like you're building all of these walls so often. Zane just struggling to figure out a way to actually get through there. It ends up buying Pokemon okay, enough time to get Diamond Tools. Oh, yeah. But really good on Zane because if you know your opponent's fishing to just get new tools, harass them at their tool bench. Because then they just don't have time to actually build it. That was such a great conversion on Pokemon's end with the, with the like, straight up air into like, another up air and up smash. Like, that actually granted him, like, what, 30-40% off of that? Ooh, reading some sort of jump out of pressure. Oh, that block actually helped him out a lot right there. All right. Second time now, we see Zane just not pressured. Cool as a cucumber, right in the face of that up smash. Really good for them. Yeah, that was such great patience on Zane's end, but Alama's starting to get a lot of resources right now. Look at, he, he has another diamond. He has so much like stone, a lot of iron. He's actually in such a good position right now, but that can is actually really good on Zane's end as well. Like, it just disrupted so much of, like, Pokemon's tempo. Like, positioning was really good. This is actually kind of a sweet spot for both the players because, <laughs> like, Zane can't really effectively approach without being very obvious of where they want to approach from. Pokemon's got all the resources that he needs. Right. He, can, he can keep mining all he wants. It's not really going to advance the game state any further. Right. Both of these players are one straight hit away from dying. How did the can not explode there? What? Oh, oh good 
Is Uptor gonna take it? Yes, it will. Oh, wow. No sparks, no no nothing, just drop. It's a reliable kill throw. Yeah. This stuff on Pokemon on Nolan. The uh the percent for that. That was I did not expect that to kill. Yeah, no, that was at those high of percentages, like that was just really dangerous dangerous. Uh did you see the stage we went to? Because Small battlefield. Small battlefield. Okay. It's gonna be much easier for Zane to be able to control uh, Sage and Pokemon already locking in the Steve pick. Oh, we are seeing Mega. All right. All right. We are in for a game. This is a matchup I have yet to see uh, in tournament. I think this is the first time I've like commentated a Steve and a pretty good one at that. You know, if you're gonna get any Steve here in New York, like. Pokemon Steve is certainly no slouch. I know, um, I know Quid also has a Steve as well, and I think he pulled it out against Miles as well, Lackey, specifically. Uh, I think the Steve won? I'm, I'm not too sure, actually. Don't quote me on that, but, um, anyways, this Mega Man counterpick, I, I have a feeling this is actually going to be a really good counterpick, mainly because his ability to, to disrupt those blocks right there behind that platform is going to be way better than Duck Hunt. Yeah, if there's one thing to, to note about Mega Man, it's just the the Mega Buster itself is annoying. It interrupts things. Might not deal a lot of damage, might not lead into a lot of combos, but it's annoying. Oh, he's alive right from that. Yeah, Rush Coil is going to give Mega Man the opportunity to recover vertically, like, pretty easily. If, if Alam had any other tool than Wood, he actually would have died there. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna get the Electria. Right. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. For what? The Electria, yes. Enderman. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the Elytra. Yo, it, straight, it took me like several weeks of like actually paying attention to remember what this thing's tools are called. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft since I was in like high school. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even know that was a thing anymore. <laughs> oh, I digress. Uh, Pokemon is making good use of it, although when you try to use it from the ledge to take advantage of its low recovery frames, it does get a bit predictable. Oh, yeah. Alright. Wait. Really? Yeah. I know that was setup. Both of these characters can do pretty, uh, pretty screwy things with the small battlefield platforms. And especially when it comes to the ledge trapping. However, we're in a spot right now where Zane is just struggling to get their kill. You're right. One of the, one of the things about, like, pulling out a counter pick, like Mega Man, for example, is that, like, Mega Man's one of those characters that was sneaky back in, that like if you don't like solo main or put like a lot of practice into them, it's gonna be very difficult to like execute some certain stuff. Like trying whether it's like trying to find a kill or getting the most out of your hit, it's gonna be pretty hard. No, yeah, it's it's definitely rough doings, especially the down air right off the dirt block too, in a way that's going to be catching Mega Man. We're going to be such a comfortable lead right now. Even just fishing around with up tilt. He already has another diamond on deck. That's crazy. Oh. Wow, he had a time to put that block there. That it's frame one. It is frame one. <laughs> it is actually snake grenade. Oh my god. A little bit of shenanigans with the crash bomb right there. Gonna get nothing off of that whiff grab, but. Zane, Zane is doing like a really good job at like making sure Pokemon doesn't really like get too many resources or like puts up a wall, but like I feel like Alam just has won every scrap situation right now. Ooh. That was good patience out of the scramble. Unfortunately for Zane, like they still struggle to get the hit that matters. The hit that's gonna actually end out the stock, give them a bit of time, and it's not gonna happen fast enough. 2-0 in favor of Pokelam. We're seeing more of maybe this Enderman later on, but we see more of